All right, we are coming up on another band. We're going to take a listen for a little bit. This is Tony Harrington in touch Tony Harrington with the Hartford Wolf Pack mascot, Sona. <laughs> Members of the Greater Hartford Division Visitors Bureau. Sarah Jason Bowie and Story yeah. provided the trailer of the pack. We're The Lady Huskies of Yukon. We know it's cold. We know it's wet. But guess what? We're out here to celebrate their tremendous achievement in beating Tennessee for the National Tour. All right. Tour. These people are definitely having fun. You having fun? Cold, man, cold. And Tony Harrington is something uh, as a singer and performer, and uh, many of you who have been to events at the Civic Center know that firsthand, and hoping that you'd hear him sing a little bit there. But he's uh, whipping up the crowd. For those you having fun? Women. Oh, great time, great time. You're with MDC? MDC. And uh, you're out here for the Lady Huskies today? That's right, did you all the way. The, did, you, did you enjoy the season? Oh, it's a great season. And Wonderful you, job. And if you could say something to Gino? Go team! <laughs> we'll be here next year. <laughs> all right, same parade next year. We got it. Oh, and uh, Alan Denise. This is the uh, MDC Awesome Egg Hunt, and this is actually next Saturday in West Hartford. We're actually going to be there. Channel 3 is going to be there. And we're going to be, um, I think, over 40,000, they're going to hide like 40,000 eggs. And, uh, uh, and you, you, I guess there are prizes that are going to be given out, and all supports goes to the MDA, the Muscular Dystrophy Association. It's a great organization. <laughs> Raising, uh, raising money for everything. We're going to take a break from Parade Central as things uh, start to wind down a little bit. You're watching live coverage of the March of Champions, the victory parade for the national champion Yukon Women Huskies, making its way through downtown Hartford. There's the governor's foot guard uh, marching and looking great as usual. Right down Main Street, they just passed the intersection with Pratt Street, and they're approaching Asylum right there. They're just going by State House Square. Megan Pattison. Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> she. Uh, what team were you on, Megan? I played from '88 to '92. So yeah, and that's what, what was she claims? There's yeah. no proof of that, by the way. What was your experience like? It was great. I love it. It's just great to be a part of all of it. Is this amazing? You were on the road with the women. Yeah, I mean, and to think that all these people are out here. Like, I know I'm freezing. I know you're freezing. All these people are here. It's incredible. The people in the state are amazing. And we used to be roommates. We did, and you moved out. And I'm crushed. I Megan. haven't recovered since. Megan Pattison. Megan Pattison, ladies and gentlemen. We used to be roommates until she threw me out. 96.5. You guys having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Gino's mom for Pope. All right, Denise, and now they're saying Gino's mom for Pope. What do you think? <laughs> Marciella, yeah. It was great watching her in the stands reacting to the team's victory in Philadelphia. Just a week ago tonight. You recall this? I think I said she was sprinkling holy water on the team members before the game. All right, Scott, we'll be back to you in just a couple of minutes, but let's check in with Dee Griffin. She's back up at the state capitol where there'll be a rally as soon as the parade concludes. Dee? Hi there. 
good to see you again. We're here at the state capitol where about 100 people have come up from the street. They're now lined up here in front of the podium where the rally will take place right over my shoulder here. The governor will be back as well as the Yukon Husky women. The coaches, they'll be all up here to make some remarks. The troopers are up there making sure everything's okay. They just vacuumed up the uh, platform there where it was all moisture on there. They vacuumed that up and they uh, had some plastic over the chairs to make sure they were protected from the snow and the elements that were coming down. We have a whole bunch of people out here uh, to welcome the Yukon Husky women when they come back out here. This is where the parade will end. Right now you see it making its way up Main Street. Then it will go over to Capitol Avenue, wind its way up here to the Capitol for the big rally immediately following. Now the parade is moving along pretty swiftly because of the weather and people want to get in out of this stuff. So they're going to be here for just a little while. We have people of all ages here from all over Connecticut. Hi down there. Hi. Everybody has their banner there signs up here at the parade there there you see them the women are making their way down Main Street huddled up they're throwing out t-shirts to the crowd there you see the police officers all around them because of course as you know people want to get near them and we will be near them here at the ground zero for the parade and welcoming the Husky women when they come back here let's go back to you in the studio it's nice to be able to repeat this kind of event. Remember last year, Denise, with the uh, men and how, how as soon as their truck came by, all the fans wanted to get close. And it, it can get a little scary because so many people trying to swarm around a truck that is moving along. But they wanted to get up there and get their autographs and uh, get their basketball signed and, and T-shirts. They've earned it standing out there in the cold to support the team. What a great day this is for the Yukon women, all they've accomplished and achieved for the state and for the university. And hats off to all of the uh, police officers, uh, the military units, uh, uh, and others who are providing security to make sure that uh, everybody stays safe uh, while having a good time. Many people believe that uh, Coach Gina Oriem is building a dynasty, a basketball dynasty. And this year's incoming group has been rated the top recruiting class and includes the Naismith High School Player of the Year, Diana Taurasi. And now we get a chance to see on Friday newscast some videotape of how well she plays. And she earned uh, MVP honors at that uh, Women's Basketball Coaches Association uh, game at the Civic Center yesterday. Uh, and it was neat at the end. Uh, how she uh, got the U-C-O-N-N -N cheer going there, uh, even though she's not yet uh, on the team and playing here, but uh, she knows all about how UConn, feel, UConn fans feel about that, and uh, the crowd really appreciated that. I thought it was funny, too. She comes from California. When she told her friends that uh, she would be attending the University of Connecticut, they said, Connecticut? Where is that? Is that the place with all the trees? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have trees here. Lovely Beautiful trees. Lovely foliage in the fall. Beautiful trees. But in the interview with her, you could tell that she'll fit in nicely. Very gracious young lady. Talked about the good of the team, and I think that's really what has propelled this team to victory and to the, the greatness they've achieved. Is, uh, they really worked well together as a team. They sure did. You can see uh, assistant coach uh, Chris Daly uh, right there in the middle uh, with no hat on there. Uh, looking out and trying to recognize people in the crowd and, and acknowledge the uh, the waves and cheers from the fans who have uh, gathered along and you know it, it's quite a phenomenon uh, UConn basketball in this state uh, be it men or women uh, people just love it and can't get enough of it and maybe one day we'll uh, have the same thing said about UConn football that's uh, growing in excitement with their new coach Randy Edsel and uh, even uh, Governor Roland made mention of the fact that in the middle of all the hoopla over uh, Gino Oriema's victory as a coach, uh, Gino took time to uh, put in a plug for the stadium that uh, is to be built uh, in East Hartford for the UConn football team uh, on that land that was donated by United Technologies. The vote on that is expected very soon to see what happens. And Jonathan the Husky uh, dog is up there on the flatbed with all the members of the team. See Svetlana Brosimova, and uh, there's Shea Ralph, uh, no mistaking her. And uh, Swin Cash, Tamika. Looks like she's autographing uh, basketballs, Shea Ralph is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, look at them, they're really having fun reacting with the crowd and dancing around. What a high for these young women. Channel 3 Scott Haney is positioned along the parade route on Main Street in Hartford. Scott? Denise? The team Denise is almost is there, Scott. Get ready. I, I, I can see them, Al, and it's all, you know what it's like? It's like seeing royalty come down the street. That's how excited everybody is. I, I can't even believe how excited I am over this amazing group of women who have come together. Th their record was 36 and one. It, it just amazing. The governor just went by proceeding. He's uh, just in front of the women and in the distance, you can see the flatbed. The crowds are incredible. I am so happy for these ladies that the amount of people have actually turned out in this weather to welcome and to root these people on. Hey, it's Scott, just, uh, just incredible. Just passed uh, by you in that black convertible was Lou Perkins, the uh, athletic director at the University of Connecticut. And he's uh, certainly one excited guy. He, uh, he never gets tired of uh, these, these kinds of occasions. <laughs> Look at this. This is great. Sir, are you have Four goes this. He's in the back. He's with the team. Are you having fun, though? You bet. That's, all, you? that's all that matters. <laughs> this is the best. And you got, you're in your convertible. You cold? No. I'm no, because I can feel the heat zooming on out. <laughs> These guys are laughing. They got the heat on in their convertible. <laughs> uh, Gino, he said, no, I'm right with the team. Yeah, Gino is amazing. Is it, I can just imagine the, uh, the enthusiasm that is on that float. I tell you what, they're jumping, but you should see all the people around them. You'll get them here in a minute. And they're actually coming now. We're going to let you guys go. Thank you for talking. They are getting closer, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see them? I can see them. La guys, it's, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Here come the ladies. How you doing? You having fun? A lovely time. This, is, this has got to be one of the greatest jobs, right? It is. And they pay you to do it. And they pay you to do it. <laughs> that is one of the Hartford, the University of Connecticut police. And he is actually having a great time. Wonderful. Is this great? He just gives you the chills, you know, that's all. And uh, what, what's your name? I'm Kevin Finn. And what, who are you representing? Uh, uh, downtown Council. Good for you. you have, it's like chills, right? Oh, yeah, chills up and down your spine. Everybody's got it. It's amazing. It is just the, 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 the hair on your beard is actually standing up. <laughs> I mean, Hey, Scott, I'm going to interrupt for just a moment to, uh, I just want to interrupt for a moment as we watch the UConn women come down to let everybody know you're watching live coverage of the March of Champions honoring the national title holders, the UConn women, uh, winning that victory a week ago tonight in Philadelphia. A 36-1 season, a perfect way to cap the season with a national title. There's Coach Oriema with Chris Daly and Svetlana Abrosimova. It's, uh, it's a great day, and we're bringing to, to you on WFSB Channel 3 in Hartford Live. Scott was just talking about chills in the crowd, and I think in this case, the chills are the emotional kind seeing the team and not the physical kind, even though it is quite cold out there today. This is the moment they've been waiting for. Look at this, Kelly Schumacher, Shea Ralph. Ladies! The crowd is going nuts. Absolutely nuts. Is this amazing, guys? It sure is. Are you having fun? Oh, yeah, staying warm, too. Doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. You just heard it. The crowd is following them. Police are great today, keeping everybody going. The flood. Hey, Scott, you're not going to get your autograph. Can you believe the amount of people, Alan and Denise, that are here? Can you believe it? It's amazing on a day like today. Say hi. Now, of course, the final destination for the parade is the state capitol, where the parade stepped off at 2 o'clock. But at the end of the parade, they'll have a rally there. And members of the team are expected to speak, along with Coach Oriyama. Governor Rowland Denise as well. and Al. Yes, Scott. I, I, I think I just may go. Is that all right? Where? Can I just, I'm going to go with the ladies. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> well, try to contain yourself. Scott, it looks like a lot of people are uh, swelling into the street there. All right. What's happening is the crowd is falling out, and they're completely following the team. 
and that is great. Good for the ladies. They are having the time of their lives. It's a great show of love and support. And Scott, we thank you for your coverage and enjoy the rest of the parade. And uh, we're going to get back to coverage of the March of Champions in just a moment on Channel 3. Thank you.